Hello boys and girls, our lesson today is about adding fractions with unlike denominators. Let's get started. Let's make a quick review. What is a denominator? A denominator is the number that is at the bottom of the fraction and it shows the total number of parts that equals a whole. So it shows the whole part and it shows the total number of parts and it is in the bottom and it's called denominator. What is a numerator? It's the top number that shows the part of whole. Unlike denominators, that means that denominators or the top, the bottom numbers are different. For example, I have 3 over 4 and 1, 6. The fractions have different denominators called unlike denominators. Step 1, you must find the equivalent fractions for the common denominator. So we need to find the LCD. We need to find the least common denominator. You need to watch the previous video about the previous lesson about finding common denominators. So I need to list the multiples of 4, list the multiples of 6, and see what number is shared, the least number is shared between 6 and 4. You will find that it is 12. Then you need to change the denominators to 12. I can change 4 uh, to 12 by multiplying by 3, and I have to do the same thing to the numerator, and I will multiply it by 3 too. So I will get an equivalent fraction, which is 9 over 12. The 6 also will be changed to 12 by multiplying denominator by 2, and I have to multiply also the numerator by 2 as well. Then I will add the top numbers, the numerators, I'll get 11. Then I will keep the denominator the same. So the sum is going to be, or the answer that I get when I add the fractions, is going to be 11 over 12. And it is already in the simplified form. I have these two fractions. I have 3 over 7 plus 2 over 3. Look at the denominators. I have different denominators. I cannot add if the denominators are not the same. I need to make them the same. I will list the multiples of 3, the multiples of 7, and see what multiple is shared between 7 and 3. You will find that this 21. I need to change all denominators to 21. How do I get 21? I will multiply the 7 by 3, and I will multiply the 3 by the 7. And of course, I have to multiply also the, the numerator or the top number by the same number. I will get the equivalent fractions or the fractions that are equal to these, the original ones but in different numbers, then I will add the top numbers, I'll get 25, and the bottom numbers, I'll get 21. 25 over 21, it is an improper fraction. The numerator is less than the denominator, and I will change it to a whole number, so I will get 1 and 4 over 21. I have 4 over 9 plus 5 over 2, you need to get the common denominator. List the multiples of 9 and 2. You will find that the common denominator or the common multiple is 18. How do I change 9 to 18? I need to multiply by 2, and I have to multiply the numerator by 2 also. And how do I change 2 to 18? I will multiply by 9, and the 5, the numerator by 9 too. I will, got, I will get the equivalent fractions, 8 over 18, so I need to rewrite my fraction, plus 45 over 18. Now I need to add the numerators, and that denominator stays the same. Add the numerators, you get 53 over 18. And we learned before how to simplify uh, uh, improper fractions. We need to divide 53 by 18 using the long division. Then I will write the answer that I get as a whole number, the remainder as the numerator, and I keep the denominator the same. Now this is your turn, copy them to your copybook and start working. Here, try this one. Don't forget to list the multiples of 11 and five and see what is the common multiple to change the denominators to common denominators. Another question. This is all for today. We will continue learning about adding fractions with unlike denominators next time. And I'm going to record a video about simplifying uh, fractions also. Thank you for watching.